Stanford University. Changing mind only through compassion or education, not by force. We have to find ways and means to solve that through dialogue. In order to carry meaningful dialogue, first, it is necessary to respect the other who have different view. Consider part of we, part of humanity. My future also depends on them. So respect and listen their interest and tell them our interest and try to find mutually equitable solution. That's the only way. Like a Palestine problem, both sides stand firm. Then confrontation. Now, 21st century, now 10 years passed, now 90 years yet to come. Now, these young people, you are the people who belong to the 21st century. My generation belongs to the 20th century, already gone, now ready to say goodbye. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, these young people, now you should think how to bring this century, more peaceful century, more compassionate century. So, uh, peace, compassionate, does not mean no longer any problem. Problem there. So long human beings there, human interest is there, different interests, different views, always there. There is no other alternative, only through talk. That's the wisdom side. Then respect others' interest, genuine sense of concern, or concern of others' well-being. That's the basis. So combine these two things, genuine spirit of dialogue can develop. What do you think? Do you agree? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.